Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out some of the offerings of Ubiquity, mainly the Unify Protect camera system. Ubiquity has been a brand known for their networking products and software from routers, access points, switches, and security cameras, and they're mostly used in commercial and enterprise setups. I was hesitant at first when they contacted me to check and review their cameras because they have a lot of products that if you look at their website, it is overwhelming and you will not know which product does what and what is needed. They don't have a security kit bundle like other wired NVR cameras. So with my limited experience in networking, I don't want to get into these complicated setups, changing settings in your router and home network. Well, Ubiquity promised me that their products are mostly plug and play. So they sent me a network PoE switch, which is basically a hub to connect their cameras and also sent me a cloud key device. And this is where their software will run and also where recorded videos will be stored. This system is scalable and you can have and add up to 20 Unify cameras. Thank you Ubiquity for sending me your Unify Protect system for review. So we are going to do the unboxing, setup, and installation, and we'll be testing the cameras on our usual battery of tests, like video and audio quality, day and night. First box we are going to open is the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And as you can see, there is nothing in the box that says what it does. No features, nothing. If you look in their website, it just say that this little device will manage your Unify networking and video devices simultaneously and it includes the Unify Protect software and one terabyte 2.5 inch hard drive that is upgradable to 5 terabytes. So this is where the recorded footage will be saved and also where their software runs. We have some paperwork and stickers and the cloud key itself. Packaging of these Unify products are premium like you're opening an iPhone box. The build quality is also premium. So in the front, we have a small LCD screen. At the back, we have the Ethernet port to connect it to our switch, a USB-C port for storage expansion, a power switch and another USB-C port for alternate power. It is a pretty compact device and also houses a 1TB hard drive and which is upgradable to 5TB. The next box is the 8 port 150 watt switch. This is also a PoE switch or power over Ethernet switch and provides power to the cameras and to the cloud key. We have a couple of angle mount brackets, a power supply cord, a bag of screws, a quick start guide, and we have the PoE switch itself. We can see the 8 powered Ethernet ports at the front two swappable ports and a small reset button. At the back, we have the power supply port. Now, we'll check out and open up the cameras. First, we have the G3 Flex camera, which there are no specs in the box. But this is their indoor-outdoor PoE camera that is 1080p and can record up to 25 frames per second. It has a 104 degree field of view, has night vision, and has an operating temperature of negative 4 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. At the back, we have the port for the Ethernet cable, which you can use either the back or the bottom hole. Inside the box, we have some paperwork, which are installation instructions. This camera can be installed in a ceiling or horizontal install, wall or vertical, and even in a pole with the included mount. We have the wall or pole mount, screws and plastic anchors, we have a bottom outdoor cover and a couple of zip ties for pole mounting. We also have the G4 Pro, which outside the box, there are not a lot of details and specs listed. But this is their 4K Ultra HD camera with a zoom lens from 4.1 to 12.3 millimeters, or can zoom up to 4 times. So the field of view is from 125 degrees, but can zoom in up to 43 degrees diagonal. It records at 24 frames per second and has an IP67 weatherproof rating. In opening the box, we have the tightening tool to lock the camera's position later on. A pole mount bracket. Remember guys, Ubiquity has been mostly designed for commercial installations and they will have this pole installation option which you will not see a lot in a residential setting. Then we have the G4 Pro camera itself, and as you can see, the diameter of the lens is almost as big as my DSLR camera. This camera has some heft on it and is encased in an aluminum body. 
So this is the B-roll of the kit that was sent to me. Four G3 Flex 1080p cameras, two G4 Pro 4K cameras, a cloud key, and the 150 watt PoE switch. You have to purchase these components individually. You can add up to 20 cameras to the Unify Protect system, and even different types of cameras if you want, which Unify has a few that they sell, and also need to add more PoE switches. With this setup as it is, I am only able to add 6 cameras because two of the Ethernet ports of the 8 PoE switch will be for the router and for the cloud key. So time to set this up and this is pretty much plug and play. First, we need to plug in the PoE switch and we can connect the cloud key at this time using an Ethernet cable. Which by the way are not included and you have to get or purchase these separately. Plug one end to the Ethernet port of the cloud key and plug in the other end on one of the ports of the switch. Then plug in the Ethernet cable connected to your router to one of the ports on the switch. Then we will download the Unify Protect app on our smartphone. Make sure your smartphone's Bluetooth is on and close to the cloud key. Create an account and log in. The app will automatically look for new devices and will find the cloud key. Click Setup Device. Name the device and click Next. Wait until the setup is finished and then you'll be able to add your cameras. Connect your cameras using the Ethernet cable and plug it in in any of the remaining ports of the switch. The cameras will be automatically be added to your account which you just need to give a name and it will be updated and set up. And you will see the live view. Time to install the cameras outside. For this testing, I will install one G4 Pro and one G3 Flex camera and switch this with my Swan cameras in my backyard and we will do the video and audio quality testing. Please note that these two cameras don't have a speaker, just a mic. So one feature that these cameras doesn't have is two-way audio. I'll be installing the G3 Flex first which I will need to thread the Ethernet cable on the hole on the flush mount. Then, I need to screw in the mount on the ceiling using the two screws. We will then plug in the Ethernet cable to the back side of the camera. Slide the camera in the flush mount until it is secured in place. You can adjust the position of the camera by turning it left or right and tilting the lens up or down. Time to install the G4 Pro 4K camera. First, we need to unscrew the mounting base from the camera by turning it counterclockwise. Thread the Ethernet wire through the base and screw in the base in the ceiling with two screws. Now we have to unscrew the body of the camera from the adjustable base so that we can connect the Ethernet cable. We have to thread the cable through the adjustable base. For proper weather sealing, there is a rubber gland that we need to also feed the Ethernet cable through and securely sit on the adjustable base. Screw in the adjustable base to the base and plug in the cable to the Ethernet port on the camera. Then screw in the camera to the adjustable base. Position the camera to where you want it to monitor and using the tightening tool, tighten the camera to the mounting base to lock the position in. Time to check out the settings on the app. In the main window, we will see the cameras installed in the system. Clicking the menu on the upper left corner, you will see the cameras which we are currently on, users, and activity where all motion detected events are bookmarked. Please note that the cameras record 24-7. The camera uses camera or pixel-based detection, so you will get false notifications especially if you have bugs flying around at night. It is not as frequent as other NVR systems though. Clicking on the settings, this will be the settings in the cloud key. This is where you're going to be able to turn on or off the notifications of the cameras. Click on the alerts and you can turn it on and you'll be able to customize when the alerts are going to be sent. And for the cameras, you can check or uncheck the alerts if the cameras are offline and or when they sense motion. Clicking the three bars on the right, you can choose if you want just push notification to your phone or you can also have the notification emailed to you which a snapshot of the motion will also be included. Going back to the live camera feed, you can click on a specific camera and which it will load the history at the bottom, where you can scroll up or down. If you're familiar with Nest cameras, this is the same feature. Any motion events will have a thumbnail on them and just scroll down and click to see the footage. 
clicking the square dots on the bottom, you'll be able to take a snapshot, download, or delete the footage. You can click on the gear icon on the upper right corner to get to the camera settings, where you can turn on, off, or automatic the night vision, and adjust the sensitivity. You can adjust the camera's picture, which it will give all the options that you can think of. Overlay information is where you can select which options like the time, camera name, logo, and bitrate that will be superimposed on the footage. Then we can adjust the camera's microphone volume and turn on or off the record light. We have the motion zones which you can specify areas that you want monitored. You can also set the motion sensitivity of the specific zone. You can also add more zones if needed. Then we have the privacy zones if you want an area blacked out for privacy. Now time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the G4 Pro. This is the video clarity test of the G4 Pro at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this is the audio and video quality of the G3 Flex. I kind of turned it around so that it will be in the same plane as the G4 Pro. So this is the video clarity test for the G3 Flex at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, so we are going to test the alert motion notification speed of the both G4 Pro and the G3 Flex so it's 1215 and I have my LTE connection and so let's check it out I got notification and I got two notifications on both cameras This is the video quality of the G3 Flex and with the infrared LEDs on and at nighttime and with no lights. So this is the video quality of the G3 Flex uh, at night and with all my lights on. So this is the video quality of the G4 Pro at night and with the infrared LEDs on and no lights. So this is the video quality of the G4 Pro at night and with all my lights on. Overall, the Unify Protect camera system works like a traditional wired NVR system, but the main difference is that it breaks up the components. NVR systems integrate the controller or software, network switch, and the recorder in one unit. But with the Unify, they are separated into components. Controlling the system is all done in the app on your phone, which I like. And one advantage of the Unify Protect system is the scalability. You can start out with a few cameras and you can easily add more and up to 20 cameras. And VR systems are limited to how many channels they are made for, which is usually 4, 8, or 16 channel systems.
Just like NVR systems, and to compare with Wi-Fi cloud-based security cameras, the Unify Protect stores footage locally, which is private and secure. There are no cloud subscription fees and also doesn't upload the footage to the cloud, so no burden on your internet bandwidth. I like how easy it is to find a specific footage, and you can easily download the footage to your phone. The app is responsive, intuitive, and user-friendly. The motion detection is camera or pixel-based. It doesn't have a lot of false alerts like other pixel-based cameras, but at night, with bugs flying around, you will get a lot of notification alerts. So it is not as reliable as PIR motion and AI algorithm-based systems. As to the cameras, the G3 Flex is a pretty good 1080p camera. Video quality is good for a 1080p. They are also small and has a smaller footprint than traditional bullet type or dome cameras. The G4 Pro, on the other hand, is a very expensive camera. It retails for 450 bucks each, and I know it has an optical zoom and records in 4K, but it will not be affordable to a typical homeowner that is looking for a wired camera system. For less than the price of one G4 Pro, you can buy a decent 5 megapixel NVR system with four cameras. Also, take note that both G3 Flex and the G4 Pro doesn't have two-way audio or an alarm. They only have the mic but doesn't have the speakers. For an average homeowner, you need to do your research and watch a handful of YouTube videos on how Unify Protect works and which components to buy. And because it doesn't come in a kit, Ethernet cables are not included and needs to be purchased separately. Another feature that is lacking in my setup is the monitor. I know I can monitor and stream the cameras in my phone or in a computer, but I want a standalone dedicated TV monitor to stream my cameras 24-7. And this is easily done with an NVR system because they have an HDMI output. Unify does sell a separate NVR unit, but it is sold out at the time when I checked it. And if it is available, it will be in a separate Unify video platform and not compatible with the cloud key setup that I have. Overall, Ubiquiti or Unify camera's build quality is excellent, and it is easy to set up, and mostly plug and play. But at this time, when you look at their website, it is not for an average consumer, because it just gets confusing and you will not really know what components to buy. One thing that they can do is to sell their products as a kit. So let's say a 6-channel kit which includes the PoE switch, cloud key, and 6 cameras. And throw in some Ethernet cables and that way it will get regular people like me to not hesitate in purchasing it. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload product review videos like this video, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.